is Elliot. Uh, just got done visiting with Garrett after his uh, trip to Vietnam. I'm going to ask him a little bit about jiu-jitsu in the country of Vietnam. What's up? Garrett, tell us about... Uh, welcome back to America. Tell us uh, a little bit about jiu-jitsu in Vietnam. Jiu-jitsu in Vietnam was uh, very cool. They definitely do uh, more no-gi, probably because it's freaking hot there. Uh, but uh, it was really chill, really cool people. Um, I, I, they're super welcoming. and uh, You're telling me they don't really do a lot of belts? or What was, what was up with that? Yeah, I mean, uh, it seemed like I think everybody there that had a belt had the belt from wherever they came from before. Mm -hmm. um, and like I said, they mostly did uh, no gi, but uh, but everyone was super good. Had like a, a lot of skills, and uh, so I think I mean it's that the old adage: can't judge someone based on uh, what belt they're wearing. Uh, but uh, but yeah. Now what? And it wasn't just people from Vietnam. Yeah. So people were from all over the world. Uh, a lot of people from Japan, and then. Uh, Australia, the U.S., uh, Great Britain. You got to teach some classes. Uh, yeah, they, well, I got to show show some stuff, kind of impromptu. Yeah. Um, but uh, well, I was allowed to show show <laughs> stuff. I don't know how great it was, but. <laughs> and uh, last but not least, uh, how did you guys communicate? Oh, they uh, everybody spoke English. Um, oh, wow. for the most part. So, uh, so it was pretty easy, but uh, even, I mean, I've been places where people don't speak English, and I think jiu-jitsu is a language in and of itself, uh, so it's pretty easy to, uh, to motion your way and say you want to <laughs> roll with somebody, and that's all that really matters. That's awesome, man. Thanks for sharing. All right.